Ahoj, ahoj! Welcome to Skincare with Lenka. Today I will be reviewing sunscreen. Uh, mineral sunscreen, chemical sunscreen and combination sunscreens. So how do you know if your sunscreen is mineral sunscreen or chemical sunscreen? Well, I give you a little hack. Only thing you need to learn is those two words, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Well, that's four words. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, if you see those two ingredients on the label, that's a mineral sunscreen. If you don't see them there and it's just long words, you don't know, that's a chemical sunscreen. If you see some long words and zinc or titanium in it, that's a combination sunscreen. As you remember from my previous video, Skincare 101 Part 2, we learned all about sunscreen. Mineral sunscreen, also called inorganic sunscreen, and chemical sunscreen, also called uh, organic sunscreens and then we have combination of both you can find this video down below in the description box so go check it out you want some sunblock on your nose? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, I'm gonna be so fluffy <laughs> so what I will do now is to apply each sunscreen I'll let you see the finish right after the application Wait for, uh, uh, then I will wait for 10 minutes and show you the final result again. Also, I will comment on the finish, uh, how it feels, if it's a, a chemical or mineral sunscreen. So stay tuned and stay with me. Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus uh, PA4 Plus is Aqua Rich. So I will apply uh, uh, this sunscreen just on my face and I will skip the neck and the decolletage. So I just applied the Biore Aqua Rich sunscreen. Uh, 10 minutes had passed. This is how it looks now. It is a little bit um, tacky, a little bit sticky, uh, it's quite shiny. Um, I don't personally mind uh, that it's a little bit shiny. I like the dewy look, but somebody has maybe oily skin, it's not something you want. Um, when you apply it, it smells a little bit like alcohol, uh, but besides that, it's, it's quite nice sunscreen. I washed my face and I'm back. So next one is again chemical sunscreen. This time it is uh, Banana Boat. Dry Balance Sunscreen Lotion uh, SPF 50 plus PA4 plus is uh, soft matte finish. So let's put it on. So I will skip my ears, neck and decolletage again. Just I want to show you how it looks uh, on skin. So we don't need to do perfect application. So when I was applying this sunscreen, I experienced a stinging and burning, but it went away after a couple of minutes. So if you have a sensitive skin, you might want to avoid this sunscreen. Um, this sunscreen has some matte finish, dry, um, so it does not feel sticky. It feels actually quite all right. Um, has fragrance though, uh, which I'm not really fan of it. So next one is combination sunscreen. Uh, this is Biore UV Covering Base UV SPF 50 plus PA for pluses. So this is tinted sunscreen. So this is the finish after 10 minutes. As you can see, it's really, actually it's really nice finish. It's still a little bit dewy, um, but dries out quite nicely. The way how I apply it into sunscreen is actually as a second layer. The first layer is the base layer of my favorite sunscreen and then I apply the second one with tint. 
uh, it's non-sticky, uh, feels really nice on the skin and uh, doesn't have any fragrance. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this one. It's, it's like a for, perfect for no makeup day. Next one is Super Goop uh, Glow Green SPF 40 Broad Spectrum uh, PA3 Pluses. So this is on more pricier side. Uh, this one I got from Sephora. So let's see how it looks. I have just applied a uh, super goop uh, glow screen SPF 40 as you can see it is really really shiny and that's the purpose it's you're supposed to apply it underneath the makeup and gives you that glow uh, uh, many women like uh, I honestly look like I just put uh, <laughs> highlighter all over my face it's really 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 shiny but it's very beautiful I mean it dried out Quite nicely, little teeny tiny, little bit tacky, but barely uh, any tackiness. And dries quite nicely, feels very nice. Doesn't have, doesn't have any smell, or at least I don't remember. No, no smell. Has tiny bit uh, of the tint, as you can see here. And feels really nice. I mean, I would not use it as my primary. Um, primary uh, sunblock because it's first of all it's very pricey second of, all, uh, second of all super shiny so under makeup for some look it's it's great uh, as a part of makeup routine but um, I would not worry the, this by itself Next one is combination sunscreen Shiseido. <laughs> uh, perfect UV protector SPF uh, 50 plus, PA for plus is very water resistant. Wet force multi defense. Oh, that's a long name. Uh, so yeah, let's see how it looks. Uh, uh, just to know it has a shaker, so we need to uh, shake it well before use. So this is the look after 10 minutes, Shiseido, uh, SPF 50, uh, has no fragrance, uh, it's really moisturizing, uh, a little bit dewy and a little bit tacky, a little bit sticky. I'd like to let you know a little hack. Always go for cheaper sunscreen. The reason why I'm saying that is because we tend to use less of the product if it's something expensive. We feel bad when we're using too much of it. And if all about the sunscreen is to use more of it. A study shows that uh, most of the people apply less than half of the recommended amount of the sunscreen. So if you go and spend almost 40 USD and you barely use it, then what's the point? It's just wasted money. So go pick something you like from the cheaper range, use it a lot so you get that uh, proper protection. Uh, copper tone, defense and care face clears in 50, uh, water resistant. So let's see how it looks. So this is the uh, result after 10 minutes. I uh, apply Copper Tone Defense and Care Face Clearing 50. As you can still see, it's still quite a bit of white cast. Uh, again, uh, underneath the makeup, I think it's alright. Uh, by itself, 
I would not go out like this. Or at the beach day, that, that would be absolutely fine with me to go on the beach and, and use that on the body and on the face. Uh, doesn't have any fragrance. It feels a little bit um, um, wet, a little bit. It's not greasy, but it does feel like it didn't try. Um, so again, for the beach day, good for normal day-to-day -day wear, not so much. The next one is a little bit different. Uh, this is mineral sunscreen, but in the powder form. So it's perfect for if you need to reapply sunscreen and you wear makeup and you don't want to mess it up, then just put the powder sunscreen over. So previously I have applied uh, the uh, Biore UV Kids Milk SPS 50. So as you can see, it has a little bit dewy look and I will use the powder to mattify it. So this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe, hit the like button, share my video and hit the notification bell so you can see all my future videos. Ciao, ciao. See you next time.